Hey there, so today we have another review and this is Random IPA Generator. Uh, this is in collaboration with Mikeller, brewed at Mikeller with Casita Cebeceria. So this is actually, you might think of a brewery outside of South America, but no, it's actually Ryan, who was a brewer at Hill Farmstead. He actually had his own project at Hill Farmstead where he was producing beer out of the brewery, calling it under the brand Casita Cerveceria. And I really wish I picked up a lot more beer from there because it's one of the things that you show up as a brewery, you don't never tasted it, and try a few bottles, and boy, were those beers amazing. Uh, doing really fun farmhouse stuff. But uh, I believe he's brewing it now out of North Carolina. You can listen to a Steal This Beer podcast about him. Uh, really interesting story. But this is him doing an FUIPA with... Mikeller, a bunch of different hops, wheat, oats. Let's dig in. Beer comes in a uh, medium gold color, uh, medium plus a full on haze on there, fluffy white head, looks awesome. A little bit of that onion, scallony, dank thing coming in here. A little bit of fruitiness. Despite being a month old, it still smells a little green. Cheers. Yeah, uh, reminds me a little bit of the six point beer. It's just a little too dry, a little too astringent. Definitely hitting. Uh, that's actually an issue that I've had with some of the Hill Farmstead double IPAs. They taste, some of them are straight up astringent. For me, I get a powdered, dried herbal quality. So I assume it's the hops and, and there's hop matter. But for some reason, my palate has developed this tasting note of like dried herb powder, dried ginger powder, dried ginseng or something, something very um, sticky on your palate, but just like very powdered and fine. So cinnamon obviously has its own flavor profile, but that kind of sensation that you get of something that's extremely fine uh, hitting the back of your throat and hitting your palate. Up front, it's pretty nice. Rich amounts of um, citrus, some tangerine, navel orange, leaning towards a little bit of mango. The malts are so hidden. You know, there's a little bit of uh, light breadiness in there because of that drying quality. Not too actually intense. So a little bit pulled back, I would argue, from so, some of those fresh, fresh six-point beers that I've had. Um, I can imagine maybe this could use a little bit more time, but we are a month in, and I'm, I'm glad it's here now versus having it the day of after day after canning. A little bit of that silky texture up front from the wheat notes. It's good beer. It just ends up not being too descript because it dries out quite quickly, but... Yeah, I, I really wish in the middle there's a little bit more fatness of malt, um, offering this beer a little bit more chewiness, residual sweetness. But the astringency is actually not that intense. It just lacks bitterness and just ends up drying on the palate. It's not one where you say, oh my God, this is astringent. It tastes like a flaw in the beer. It's just something where the flavor profile of the beer tends to be a little bit out of balance because it does sort of end up drying the beer a little too much. So as for rating, So not interesting drinking beer. It still has a lot of elements to it that I like. So um, it's a flight beer. 86. 86 random IPA generator. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.